Glendale Show on the edge. What a what, what lovely uh, lady yeah. this uh, introduce you to. Her name is uh, Michelle McGee. Michelle Bombshell McGee. You may uh, you may know who she is, and we'll chat about it. How are you, ma'am? I am good, thank you. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks You're really me. cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. I sort of expected you to be not very very bright, <laughs> but you're very bright. You're very eloquent. Yeah, don't tell anybody that. Did, 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 you, did you go to school? Uh, yes, for a long time. What'd you take? Uh, biochem. Really? Yes. What? Did you do it with the tats? The tattoos? Yes, I you're did. Tattooed up. Yes, you did. I went to college and went to autopsy school and did some really cool things. Like CSI? Stuff. No, not really. No, did you prosect oh. cadavers? Um, <laughs> I didn't get that far. <laughs> How many rats have you killed in your day? <laughs> I never killed any of them. Cut a few of them up. Oh, that's they're already yeah, dead. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're already dead, and they smell really bad. So, so you took biochem? <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. awesome. Biology. Did, did you but like it? I did. I liked it a lot. Was it hard to get a job? Is that why you're doing yeah, what you're doing now? Tattoos. That's why the autopsy school didn't work for me either. They didn't mm. like my tattoos. You look great. I, I, I didn't know if I'd like all the tattoos, but uh, it's kind of a bit of a turn on. I got to tell oh, you. Oh, thank you. It, I'm sure, you've heard you. that before. No. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> to, honestly, I'm not, a big surprise to me. Like you said, yeah. uh, not only is she intelligent, but I pictured you to be like taller. Well, I pictured you to be bigger, but you're like this petite, and bitchy. <laughs> yeah, and bitchy. I, I like bitchy. mean, and yeah. I did. I, I, can, I can start oh, over wait. again. Do no, no, don't. Come back don't. In? No, okay. No. <laughs> but you are you are petite. You are cordial, and you are funny, and and you are with, despite you. all the and you have tattoos on your forehead and the, and, and the sides of I your eyes tough, and stuff. Though. You, don't, tough. No. you do very tough. Well, she looks so docile and, and no. angelic still. No. I'm, so, I'm trying to be really evil and mean and try to live up to my expectations. But. Do, do people, when they yeah. meet you because of uh, the, the, the news and stuff with, with Jesse James and the Charlie Sheen stuff, when they meet you, do they, do they think that you're not nice? Like, do, do you get a lot of sideways looks? Um, I think they expect a lot worse. You know, I'm sorry to disappoint people when I meet them. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm a letdown. Like, I'm, they're expecting me to be mean and yeah. six mm-hmm. foot tall. Every single time I get it, you are so much shorter than... How tall are you? Five, five. How tall is Jesse? Six, two. Six, two? Six, two, six, four, something like that. So, so take me through. Uh, Michelle uh, Bombshell McGee is here. She's at Treasures uh, tonight. Yes. And tomorrow night? Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it go and see, lovely lady. And go and see her. Did you get but, naked? Completely naked? Yes. Wow. Do you see the, the thing? Or tattoos? Um, the area? You see the tattoos that most people don't see. Really? Wow. Do you have, is there a thing covered in tattoos? The whole, uh, you, like there? the JJ? Can I yeah. say yeah. the JJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The totally. JJ, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your lady bits? My lady bits. <laughs> My lady li- lumps? Lady lumps. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when the career is over. So you and, you, how did you meet Jesse James, first of all? MySpace. No joke. What? Who does that? Did he contact I mean, people even talk on MySpace nowadays, you know? Did, they, did he contact you on MySpace? No, I sent him a friend request, and then he sent me a private message right back. And the, what was the private message? Um, Hi, how are you? And I didn't really think it was him. Really? So I'm like, yeah, you know, who is this? It's me, Jesse. I'm like, yeah, right. Hmm. And yeah. he goes, here's my number. Call me. So. And you called him? I texted for like two weeks. Did you really? Mm-hmm. And, and, and the first time you met him, did you hook up? Yes. Okay. When first the, time within. First time. I, I, wasn't, that I wasn't waiting for that one. Did so, you like him? Yeah. And how long did you guys were you guys kind of together for? A few weeks. We we're intimate. That's it. Yeah. And then All we this for, over a few weeks. Yeah. Huh? It was like and six to eight weeks. I mean, we talked for almost a year. I mean. Yeah. But. Um, and you knew. And you knew he was married. I knew he was married, but he said he was getting a divorce. He was separated. They didn't <laughs> live together. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Because yeah. we know who he was yeah. married to. I'm starting yeah. to think maybe he's not very smart because yeah. <laughs> everyone in the world knew he was married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? But No, it's, it's, it's true. Everyone's like, how did you not know? I knew he was married, but he's like, you know, she's coming out with a movie. We're not allowed to talk about it. Please keep it under wraps. We can't have it to come out in the media. So let's keep this between you and I. Um, we don't live together. So, I mean, it makes sense. And they sense. did. They lived together. So he just lied to you the whole time. He just time. straight up lied. And at that time, she wasn't on TV. She was filming a movie. Sandra Bullock. Until, yeah, until yeah. the awards ceremony, you know, the yeah. Academy Awards, and that's when they were on TV a lot. So mm-hmm. I never saw them on TV together. Did you, did you see them on, on the Academy Awards? I, that's did I you see them walking together? Yes. Yeah, that's and, where it, it, it uh, occurred to me that he wasn't leaving her. <laughs> well, how about the uh, Golden Globes just before that? Where, I can't remember if it was oh, the Golden, Golden, That's where she, them. like, completely thanked him for yeah, everything. Yeah, the one that she was, was crying mm-hmm. is the one. Exactly. Yeah. And, that, and, and that was right around the same time that you and, and Jesse were getting pretty intimate. Um, yeah, there was a couple months after. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michelle Bombshell McGee is here. She's uh, at Treasures tonight, tomorrow night. Do um, oh, you have a dude. website, by the way? I do. MichelleBombshell.com. And I'm on Twitter, Miss underscore Bombshell. Okay. 
I, I'm going to follow you then. You Miss, follow yeah, we're going to put it right now. Um, so, so <clears throat> how did it get out? Because the news broke, and she wins an Academy Award for the Best Actress or whatever. Uh, and, and then, how did it get out? Like, how did it get to the point? Did you did you leak it? Did someone else say something? What what happened? I don't really know who leaked something, but. Um, <laughs> 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 something was leaking um, a friend of mine called me and said they're talking about you this ma- editor of a magazine yeah. and they're going to put out a story and um, they had some crazy sex story lined up and um, she's like you should just tell them the truth what happened they're going to put out some stuff so I decided to come forward you just said yeah here's the deal here's the deal hey, and you were, you were atypical of most uh, and I don't mean to generalize but you're atypical of most women that get caught in something like this you, you didn't it wasn't you, you didn't go after money you didn't, you just were honest. You told the truth. This is what happened, correct? Right. I did tell the tw- truth, absolutely. But you know, I, I got you know crap for taking money. But people don't realize when you're in a you know crazy media storm like that, you can't work. You can't yeah. go out in public. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I got criticized for that. But anybody that says they wouldn't take the money is full of crap. God, thank God for you being honest, huh? I tell you something. If Roger Clemens was honest, he wouldn't be going to jail soon. <laughs> but well, the, and, and to, I mean, just imagine though, being as honest as you are being, I can't like all the middle-aged housewives probably running by you, going "homewrecker." <laughs> <laughs> and, and those are the nice words I've been called. <laughs> yeah, really. Did, did you ever meet Sandra? Did you ever talk no, to her? Did she ever never. call you and go? I can't believe no, what you did. No. <laughs> You didn't, but no. you. But he lied to you, so it wasn't like it was. You know. Yeah, he was. He's a. He's a douchebag. <laughs> douche How bag. big is his wiener? Well, average. He's got an average he has wiener. No vanilla gorilla. Yeah, it's gonna Come on, no vanilla gorilla. Oh, he's all talk. No. He's is he circumcised? Talk. Yeah, I think so. Is he really? Yeah. Does he shave it? Trimmed. He trims it. He manscapes. Manscapes. Yeah. Is, is he? Is he? Uh, is he good at it? He's, he was. He was a selfish. Selfish. Really? Oh, he looking at himself selfish. in the mirror? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, what, what, like, he just worried about himself? And yeah, he... kind of worried about himself. And he had old man butt. What's old man butt? You know, it gets saggy and it kind of like. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. I take offense to this. You know? <laughs> but you, like, you, know you, like, you think of this guy that you've, you've had a crush on for years and you yeah. see him in the flesh and you're like, ooh. Not good. <laughs> yeah. But well, he is, he is old. He is old. He's yeah. getting up there. Yeah. <laughs> He's not young. I'll tell you that. Now, 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 Michelle Bombshell McGee is our guest. Can, can you stick around just for a couple more minutes? Because I'd, like I'd like to talk to you about mm-hmm. uh, Charlie Sheen as sure. well, because uh, it, it, it's uh, fascinating that, that I'm fascinated you're here. I'm fascinated. Thank you. Fascinated. You're welcome. Uh, Michelle Bombshell McGee is here. She's our guest. Yeah. It's uh, michellebombshell.com is your website as well. Yeah. Uh, she's dancing at Treasures tonight. Or do, you, do you dance? I dance. I move. Are you going on the pole? Yes. Okay, and I how about the it. stripper pole? Yeah, yeah, that one too. She knew you She knew your your douchebag ways. <laughs> Not long ago, uh, apparently you you uh, you visited Charlie Sheen. Yes. Was it a visit? It was a very quick visit in a Las Vegas hotel room. Was it just you? Um, no, my friend Lindsay here came with us in a big um, room of porn stars, I'm guessing. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was just him and porn stars? What happened? Set, set the scene. What? Ha- um, we got invited up, and he was dating Brie Olson at the time, and mm-hmm. came up to the hotel room and walked into a suitcase of cocaine. Mm-hmm. Like a whole Literally suitcase. a suitcase. Yeah. yeah. Like well, how like big a was a suitcase? It was a briefcase. It was a briefcase? Wow. Yeah. And it was full of coke? Yes. And this is right before he allegedly overdosed or didn't overdose? Yes. Before he had his stomach issues or something like that. Yes. Yeah. He had tummy pains. Did he? From the crack he was smoking. And <laughs> now, so how did you get invited up there? How did that all work out? Um, we just got invited up there by Bree. <laughs> okay. So you know Bree. Um, yes. I performed. Um, I was shooting um, a Polly Shore special with her. <laughs> oh, God. And who we made out on stage. So we, I know her very well, actually. Well, you guys made out. We had, we had to make out on stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D- d- is she a good kisser? I don't really remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you get you get to uh, the hotel. You're at uh, the Palms, is that correct? Yeah, we're at the okay, Palms. Okay, and, and, and you go upstairs, and you're supposed to go see Charlie Sheen. Uh, did, did you hang out with him? Did you talk to him? Um, no, he was in the hot tub. We had a brief drink, and we were very uncomfortable. Um, it was We don't do drugs and porn stars and stuff. So. Did he yeah. try and hit on you at all? No, not at all. No. It was just nice. Just we, not, okay. yep, we had a drink up there, and then we left. Now, how much uh, did, did you see him? Was everybody doing drugs there? Everybody? We didn't see anybody doing drugs. Okay. No. But you saw the briefcase yes. full of coke. Yes. Really? You didn't see anyone doing drugs? Not one nope. person. <laughs> Not a single person. <laughs> 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 no. Nope. What, what was going on behind closed doors? But. Yeah. Was going Something on. was going on. Yeah. Did, did, uh, did, did, you, did you enjoy Like, was he nice to you? you yeah, he was no, nice. He was cool. He was he, nice. Did, did he want some sex with you? Did no. He, no. Nope. 
Was he a little sketchy though? Like a little sketched out? No, no. he just seemed like just having fun. Okay. Just really chill. Like he was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Was he naked? I couldn't tell. He's oh. in a hot tub. Really? Oh. And you didn't see anyone do drugs? No. Huh? I don't believe you. <laughs> I, 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 my back was towards the room. I don't know what was going on behind my back. Dude, after all this is said and done, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was honest till now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but after all is said and done, and, and, and you know, you're, you're, you've become quite famous, and, 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 uh, and you've had experiences with, uh, for sure, one of the world's biggest well, alleged biggest studs, uh, and you've made news around the world because of it. How do you, how do you feel about yourself? And I, I and I, I'm not Dr. Phil here, but like, what do you, what do you want people to think you are? Um, I really don't want people to think I'm a homewrecker. More importantly, mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't maliciously go after someone's husband. Um, I, I was single. I thought he was single. At well, least going to be single. And um, you know, I'm not out for your husband. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not here to steal anybody. Um, yeah, I'm just Dang I'm it. just a normal person like everybody else. I know I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you are, but it's it's funny because it's it's amazing the tag that people put on somebody that you know gets caught in something like that. Mm-hmm. It wasn't really like you you had no you you didn't know when you were with Jesse you had no clue that he wasn't not what he said he was going to be, which is right. divorced. Right, correct. Yeah, he said he was on the way there, yep. and uh, he duped he duped you. He did. I feel kind of stupid, you know, as a girl. I mean, I think we've all been kind of lied to, mm-hmm. you know, but. Um, yeah, I kind, of, I kind of went stupid. And on top of it, his penis was just average. That's what I'm saying. I went through all of that for average sex. That's terrible. <laughs> did did uh, did did he did, was he into any anything weird? You no, know what I get asked that all the time, and that's what they were going to print some weird like you know sex stories, and I'm like, no, he was, he was very average. Nothing, really? nothing to brag about. Nothing. Did he did he brag about himself? Oh, he called himself the Vanilla Gorilla. Who I guess does so. That? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jesse James. He was like the Vanilla Chimpanzee, but you know, I don't know about Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> the Vanilla Capuchin Monkey. Did, did he help you try and like fix a chopper or something? Or? No, he, he he showed me around West Coast choppers though, and was very yeah. really proud of all of his stuff. You know, his man stuff. Yeah. It, 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 is it uh, now that you've you know you've gone through all this stuff? Do, do, do you talk to him? Do you ever call it like send nope, him a card? He or? Never has said anything to me. Last time I talked to him was Christmas, Christmas Day, and he sent me a Merry Christmas. So I think it was like a mass text. Oh, message, the one sure. of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it comes in like blue. It comes in blue, so you know this is a mass one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, listen. Uh, I, I, Really, really nice to meet you. You're a Thank sweetheart. You. You're a lovely it. lady. Go and see her tonight. Michelle Baum, Michelle McGee. She's at uh, Treasures, and uh, you, you can get her. I'm disappointed. Him. Why? Not enough controversy. Not enough controversy. <laughs> yeah, she's so yeah. sweet. She's like, she, I feel like she could be our best friend by the end of this. Well, you want come get best? a lap dance tonight. Yeah. I will show you I won't be a best friend. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Michelle McGee, thank you so much for coming. Thank Great you. Nature. Appreciate it. Uh, and, and enjoy. Go to Treasures tonight and uh, see Miss McGee. She's uh, a nice lady. And your friend Lindsay's a sweetheart, yeah. too. Nice to see you. Even though she's half awake. <laughs> she's a, she was complaining that the Canadian McDonald's isn't as good as an American McDonald's. Yep. None Not of the them, same. None of them are as good as the McDonald's in Ireland. No. Yeah, we were there recently. Man, was oh. I hammered. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show on the edge.